Hey guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy. In this video, we're going to see how to use um, more interactive blocks for your civil 3D drawing. Um, we're going to call it as MV blocks. It's it's something which a lot of people may not have heard of it. Uh, it's a sort of like a combination of 2D as well as 3D blocks together. So what happens is, let's say if this is your extrusion 3D model, and from a plan view, you will get a plan view, which is like a standard plan view, not actually a um, uh, 3D view. And then when you rotate the model, so the object will turn from a 2D um, model, uh, 2D plan layout into a 3D model. And that is MB blocks. MB blocks is actually a combination of a 2D block and a 3D block together. And so whenever you're looking at from top view, it will look as a 2D block, so nothing else. And then moment you rotate it to a perspective view, it will actually show you the 3D block. So in this case, uh, we're going to see first um, how to use MB blocks within your civil 3D drawing. Um, it's nothing too difficult. It's pretty simple and easy to use. So there are certain things that you need to um, be sort of like a bit more preparative before you do the MB blocks. So the first thing is um, make sure that wherever you're going to put the MB blocks, if it's going to be too many, always put into a point and that means a cocoa point and then put into um, a point group so you can always control it. You can always make it disappear. You can change the blocks all in one go and stuff like that. So that's first thing. And second, like the MB blocks, since it's going to have a 3D model as well, um, make sure that it's a low poly 3D model, not a high poly 3D model. Um, so I'll explain what's a low poly 3D po high poly. So it's basically if you're playing any games on your mobile phones, um, see some of the games might be a bit laggier and um, not, not, not every part of the game, just some portion of the game, you, you might find it a bit laggier. And um, some plays, some games, you know, maybe a bit more smoother and easy to use and uh, much more, much more free moving. Um, that's basically comes down to uh, two things. One is like how complex the models that you used on the game. And the second thing is um, what sort of configuration your phone is. So I'll just say if your phone is actually a sort of like a marginal configured phone, which is not a high performance phone. And if you're using a high end game, so then it's going to lag a little bit. And that's because of the model has got too many polys and your phones or, or your computer ha doesn't have the enough um, bandwidth for, uh, graph uh, for processing that much of uh, visual data. Um, okay, so let's get through this. So we have a surface here, tin surface, and then we have a corridor on top of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some um, uh, three MB blocks first straight away. And then we're going to use uh, Cocoa points to place MB blocks. So that's the two things we're going to try. So to get to the MB blocks, you can create MB blocks, so which I will do it in a separate video. Uh, for we just for now, we will just use an existing MB block within Civil 3D. Civil 3D comes with a whole bunch of MB blocks, depends on which region you are and what sort of country kit you're using. But there is a generic set of MB blocks that you can actually use it. To get to that, you have to use your control plus three, which takes you to the tool palette. And if you're not able to find it, uh, your tool palettes can also be found under view um express tools maybe it's been a while so sort of forget some of the stuff yeah i think it's in a view and then that's a tool palette or you can find it on the home and then there is tool palette so get get to the tool palette first and then when you right click on it you can see like a whole bunch of things by default you might actually see civil 3d uh, metric or some of the sub assemblies that's been turned on um so now just right click here and then we're going to choose uh, civil 3D multi view blocks. So now this would actually bring all the multi view blocks, which is available within civil 3D as a standard um, into your tool palette. So that way you don't have to go around looking for them. And uh, so now you can see actually they have been separated by based on categories. So some of them are landscape and buildings and there is exterior that might be road furnitures. And then we have um, highway just such as vehicles and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a few of them into the drawing and then we're going to see how to place them first and then um, we will use point group to manage them. All right, so let's get through this. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to get a stop sign. I will actually put it on to um, probably a location here just at the end of the road. And I'm gonna face it this way. And um, so it's just pretty much straight away like a block that you're placing it. So I'm gonna select the road and then the block and then I'm going to object viewer. Okay, so it looks like, let's try again. 
okay so as you can see the block is right uh, underneath so you're not going to be on the same level to do that first thing what we have to do is we need to move the blocks on top of the um, surface so for that what we do is in civil 3d once you select your surface you got an option that says um, move to surface and then you can select the block and that's the road sign block i'm going to click on ok so now i'm going to select these and then go to object viewer okay so it looks like there is a problem with the render maybe um, but you can see that it's it's already there so just in case if these blocks are too small or big you can always use um, rotate command and scale command i'm going to use scale for this one and then i'm going to use reference okay let's try again scale and then reference so this i'm gonna make it like that big okay so now we're gonna select these ones and go to object viewer and then rotate it and you can see the stop sign there okay so that's how you actually place and MB block so you can actually go and place a lot of different things as well um, so let's say we go into cars we love cars right so we'll try cars uh, highways where is vehicles okay here we go so we got a Merc okay so we got a Mercedes there BMW let's put some BMWs there so remember this is actually your road it's a single lane on both sides so that's the crown so i'm gonna put it right there and then let's rotate it to this way and then uh, we have to move it again on top of the um, surface so if the corridor has got a surface then you can actually use the corridor surface and let me check if i have a corridor surface so there is a corridor surface but it's not visible so i'm just gonna make it visible Okay, that's pretty harsh. Point five meter contour. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the corridor surface so that if you use an existing ground surface or any other surface, the object is not going to be on top of the corridor. So we want it to be on top of the corridor. So we will select it and then move to surface, move block to surface. And then we can use both of them actually we can move both of them to the top so now we don't have to have the surface anymore so i'm going to make it as no display now select the corridor select the signs and the car what's happening okay object viewer okay here we go the sign is too big um the car seems to be okay so it's still under realistic um so that's how it is so the signs are too big so we need to make it smaller um so that's how you actually use your um, mv blocks